Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. We're doing some foundation exams and looking at a question 21 from a paper. And this question is about algebra. We have to simplify x cubed raised to the 5. And we raise a power to another power or an exponent to another exponent. Use the index laws where we multiply those. And that becomes x to the 15. Because in effect you've got x to the 3 times 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 x to the 3, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of them. And that's the 5 there. And then you could use the adding rule there, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So that's one mark there. Again, in an exam, try and go for a mark a minute. Now we have to expand and then simplify. 4 bracket x plus 3 plus 7 bracket 4 minus 2x. So we'll expand first. 4 times x plus 4 times 3, which is 12. Then 7 times 4, which is 28, minus 7 times 2, which is 14x. 4x, 12, 28, minus 14x. They've put the algebra at different points uh, and the pure number there. But now we've got to simplify it. So we're going to collect the like terms. The numbers are all there. 12 plus 28 is 40. And now I'm going to collect the algebra. So I'm going to collect them together or simplify 4x minus 14x is minus 10x that was positive i could write that either way but i'm going to put the algebra first minus 10x plus 40 and that's worth two marks so we've expanded first and then we've simplified which is collecting the like terms okay now we're going to factorize so it's doing the opposite of expanding you expand one way you factorize another so we've got 15x cubed plus 3x squared y. Look for the common terms. Look at the number first. That's a prime, so the only common number is actually 3. So it's going to leave me a 1 there, which I don't nearly, really need to write. But um, I'll write it there so we know that it's there. And the 5 then. In terms of the algebraic terms, they've both got an x, but they've also got an x squared. So... I actually need to take out, um, if we give more space, but x squared there. So that would give me, leaving me 1x there, no other x's there, and y. Write it a bit neater, 3x squared times 5x plus y. I don't need the 1 there. And again, I'd expand it just to quickly check. 3 times 5 gives me 15. x squared times x gives me x cubed. 3x squared y gives me another two marks. So that in total was five marks. Try in for a mark a minute. Again, I've been going a bit quicker, um, but pause the video if you need after each one of these. Index laws there, expanding and simplifying and factorizing there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.